Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video I'm going to show you how you can run your devices directly or charge a battery directly from a solar panel and also how you can run this motor. In one of my previous videos, videos people were commenting that you cannot run this motor with a 40 watt solar panel. In this case I've got a 40 watt solar panel and this is from Goldie Green. I bought this uh, with my own money from flipkart.com and this is the specification of the uh, solar panel as you can see the open circuit voltage is 21.5 volt and the onload voltage is about 17.7 volt so as we know solar panel usually gives us more voltage than we actually need every dc device that we use takes 12 volt our dc battery takes 12 volt our uh, motor takes 12 volt so every dc device usually takes 12 volt and if we connect the solar panel directly to a motor like this one or a battery uh, it will work for a short while but after a long time of usage it will damage it because the voltage that the solar panel will give us will be much more somewhere close to 21 to 22 volt and the devices that we are running is 12 volt or the battery that we are charging is also 12 volt and it will work for a short while but after a long time of usage it will start damaging the battery and it will start damaging your devices that you are running directly from the solar panel so in this case we are going to be using a buck converter or a voltage regulator now this is different from a charge controller a charge controller basically does things automatically it will start charging the battery automatically and once the battery is charged the charge controller will disconnect the battery from the solar panel however this thing that i have is only the job of this uh, thing is to basically convert higher voltage into smaller voltage so that we can run our 12 volt devices such as this one or charge our 12 volt batteries using a solar panel which gives us 22 something volt so this will take higher voltage this will take 22 volt from one side and on the other side it will give us 12 volt dc so let's just do that put this solar panel under the sun let's check what voltage we are getting from the solar panel and then i will connect we will set the voltage on the buck converter using this potentiometer to 12 volt dc and once that is set we can charge our battery a 12 volt battery we can also run our dc devices uh, with directly from our solar panel however if you want some automation if you want things to happen automatically then you will need a charge controller uh, if you want to charge a battery you will definitely need to buy a charge controller you can also charge your battery using this one but once the battery is charged you will have to remove this go to the solar panel remove the wire and you will do this with your hand but with the charge controller you don't have to do anything you don't have to remove any wires the charge controller will detect that the battery is fully charged and it will stop charging the battery as soon as the battery is charged so let's just put this under the sun and let me show you that the motor is running and a couple of different things that you can run directly from a solar panel so this video is just about how you can run your load directly from a solar panel using a voltage regulator or a buck converter which will convert higher voltage that is 22 volt or 21 volt into a dc uh, 12 volt okay so here is the solar panel under the sunlight and to the solar panel i've connected two wires as you can see these two wires are coming from the solar panel the red wire is your positive and the black is negative and i've connected them to the uh, your our voltage regulator as you can see the light on the voltage regulator is glowing and the two wires that are coming from the solar panel are these two that are coming from the solar panel let's measure the voltage of the solar panel so i've got my multimeter here let me just pop this up zoom it in a little bit there i so got the proof of the multimeter let's connect the positive of the multimeter to the positive and negative of the multimeter to the negative and as you can see we are getting 19.3 volt which is a lot for running a 12 volt load but this will still run our motor but over time it will damage our motor so let me just show you that it can still run our motor so i've got my motor here i've connected a small piece of tape so that we can see that the motor is running so the positive is red and the negative in the motor is green so if i connect the motor to the and at the moment i'm not using the buck converter or the voltage regulator let me just remove it there so i'm not using the buck converter at the moment so 
I've got the solar panel connection directly coming from the solar panel. Let's connect the positive and the negative. And you can see the motor is running. So the motor is running, but over time it will it will damage. It will the solar panel will charge the battery, but over time it will damage it. And that's why we want to use the uh, the buck converter. So here is the buck converter. On one side you can see the buck converter. We have input, the input positive and our input negative. So the on the input positive we will connect the positive of our solar panel which is the red wire. So let me just do that. So the positive of our solar panel is connected. Let's take the negative of our solar panel and connect it to the negative of our buck converter. Okay, so you can see that the so the two wires coming from the solar panel, these two wires are now connected to the input of the buck converter and the output of the buck converter is connected to these two alligator clips. And you can see as the buck converter is powered on, the red LED on it is glowing. So let's see what voltage we are getting from the buck converter, whether the buck converter is giving us 12 volt or not. So let's have got the multimeter again and I've connected alligator clips to the output of the buck converter so let's connect the positive of our buck converter to the positive lead of our multimeter connected and let's connect the negative of our multimeter to the negative of our buck converter so you can see at the moment we are getting 18 points sorry 8.11 volt so we need to change that to change that take a screwdriver and as you can see there's a small box this box is basically a potentiometer so if i rotate this potentiometer with a screwdriver you will see that the voltage will start changing so let me just start rotating rotating it in in the clockwise direction until we get 12 volt in the output so as i'm rotating you can see the voltage is increasing and we want to increase until we get 12 volt so 9 volt 10 volt 11 volt so we get about 12.3 volt let's make it 12.3 let's make it 12.4 12.5 okay so we're getting 12.5 volt and at this point we can charge our 12 volt battery and this the solar panel will not damage our battery until but we will have to make sure that we, we are removing the battery once the battery is charged. So let's run our motor again and see if the motor runs still or not. Let's remove the multimeter out of the way. Let's remove the alligator clips as well. Again, so we got the output of our buck converter and we've set our multi, uh, buck converter to give us 12 volt. Let's zoom out a little bit and have got my motor let's connect the positive and the negative you can see the motor is running and it became a little cloudy and that's why the motor is running slow the motor is looking again we are getting sunlight so you can see this way you can run your DC load this way you can run your DC load directly without damaging them let me show you how you can run uh, 12 volt DC light with this so this is a 12 volt car light that i bought many many years ago i haven't used it never installed it in the car so this is the light this is a small fluorescent light and i've got the positive here and the negative here the wire is a little small so let me just strip a little bit of wire there So let's connect the positive and let's connect the negative as you can see the light is glowing and there we've got a button here off on and it again got cloudy if you once we get the sunlight the light will grow glow much brighter than this so let's remove it 
so there we go this is how you can run your DC devices directly you can turn the 20 volt 22 volt or higher voltage that is coming from the solar panel into a uh, stable and safe 12 volt without any problem and you can also charge your 12 volt battery without any problem but you will have to make sure that you are disconnecting the battery once the battery is charged because if you don't do that over time the battery will get damaged if you don't want to disconnect the battery automatically you will need to purchase a charge controller that will disconnect the battery once the battery is completely charged so i hope you found this video helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye